Hello guys, this heats and uh, today I want to be explaining my understanding of market structure to you all. Uh, I hope you guys find this video very educative and informative. So let's just get started. Okay, so market structure. In a bullish market, when we say uh, a bullish market, it means market is giving a series of higher highs and higher lows. Higher high, higher low. The high ought to be higher than the previous high to for it to be a valid low. So we have a higher high, a higher low, a higher high. Now, in a bearish market, okay, before I move on to the bearish market, let me just quickly explain uh, the rules governing market structure in a bullish market. So uh, in a bullish market, we'll have markets giving us this high, a previous high, which is finally broken here, right? So we have a breaking market structure here. Oh, I'll explain what breaking market structure means in a minute. Now, uh, with this previous high, price took this previous high out. So we call it a breaking market structure here. So price gives us high. And we have this as the low. Now, since this high is higher than this previous high, we call it a higher high. And this low is higher than this particular low, so that's a higher low. Now, in this instance, it's the same as the previous one. This high was completely taken out by this move here. So we have another breaking market structure at this point here. Now, giving us a new higher high and then a new higher low. Now, this higher low will be confirmed when price takes out this high, this previous high. So this higher low was not a low or wouldn't have been a higher low if price didn't take this particular high. Now, as price took out this previous high, then we can call this as a higher low. Now, uh, so we have this as a higher low, the low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Now price has taken this high out as well, giving us a breaking market, so giving us a breaking market structure to the upside. Now, in a in a bearish in a bearish market, we we'll see price giving us higher uh, from a high to a low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low now let me quickly so we have this to be the low high lower low lower high lower low lower high all right so uh this high is responsible for this breaking market structure here, right? So we have this low completely taken out here. So we have breaking market structure to the downside. This low as well is also taken out, confirming this lower high. So we have this as a breaking market structure to the downside. We have this low also completely taken out as well. We have a breaking market structure to the downside. Let me quickly use, so we have this change it to let's see right so price gives us low high lower low lower low because it's lower than this previous low we have a lower high because it's lower than this high lower low same applies here lower high same applies here now this is for a bullish market bullish and this is for a bearish market now, if uh, uh, we want to know if price moving from this particular trending market, which is a bullish market, finally now changes from this bullish market to a bearish market, we'll first have to see a significant low being taken, which is these higher lows being taken before price. Uh, we can say, okay, now price has finally shifted from this bullish market to a bearish market. Now, so. Let me move this structure here. We still have this. Oh, let me just do this. Okay. 
So now, for a minute, for a minute, just assume this zone is. Okay, yeah, so just assume that zone is not, uh, uh, price hasn't printed this particular zone here yet. Now we're having, we're looking at markets at this particular point. So we're seeing market giving us a high, low, giving us higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, which is a good characteristics of uh, a bullish market. Now, this is the last higher low. This is the last higher low. So let's say now price now gives us this. Price gave us this higher low, right? It initially gave us this higher low. So we would have been expecting price to break this high to give us uh, uh, a bullish one, just like this move here. But in this instance, price failed. Price failed and then broke this higher low as well as this higher low. This low being broken does not mean anything, honestly. This zone here. So let me just take this off here. This low here being taken does not mean anything. Reason it doesn't mean anything is because this particular low didn't take the swing point high. So it's not considered a swing point high. A, a swing point low, sorry. It's not considered a swing point low. A swing point low uh, uh, is defined as, let's say, uh, that low was responsible for a breaking market structure to the upside. So you wouldn't call a low, a low, a swing point low if it, it hasn't taken out uh, a swing point high and that's the same thing reversed in a bearish market okay so at this particular point price failed to give us a swing point high a higher high breaking market structure up here it didn't and now it took this low here it took this swing point low here so this swing point low here is a breaking market structure to the downside reason being that this higher low was uh, able to break this higher high, making it a valid swing point low, making this a valid swing point low. So as soon as price took this here, we have now confirmed that we are no more in a bullish market, but now price has uh, changed wheels to the bearish uh, zone, okay, the bearish market. Now, let me, let me quickly explain this particular zone here. So, in a, in a bullish market, we're having higher highs, higher lows. Price can actually do anything at this zone here. You wouldn't uh, call any swing points uh, here, being created here, and a swing point low until it takes out this high. So you can have price do something like this. As soon as it takes this high, it means the lowest low there is considered the swing point low. You can have price come in, do whatever it wants to do at this zone. You wouldn't call any of these points a swing point low until it takes out the swing point high here. Okay, oh, sorry, let me just explain that again. Okay, so in a bullish market, we're having price breaking structure high, giving us a bullish run, breaking market structure to the upside. Price can actually do whatever it wants to do at this particular zone here. You wouldn't call any of them a swing point low until price finally takes out this last swing point high here. As soon as price takes out this high, uh, this swing point high here, giving us a breaking market structure, you need to come here and identify the lowest point here within this range from this swing point high to this swing point low. The lowest point there is your swing point, your, your confirmed higher low or your swing point low now so in this case this is the lowest point here and that will be your swing point low here that will be it so at any moment if price should uh reverse and take this particular low here out it means we're having a break in market structure to the downside now price has moved from this bullish move to now a bearish tone so you would be expecting a point of interest somewhere around this zone here to hold price down, breaking, targeting this particular external low. This is external liquidity. We'll reserve liquidity for another day. Yo, bro. 
Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm here. Uh, how am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you edit this <laughs> side of. You are doing great, really good, bro. No problem. I are you sure? So you're gonna edit this particular points off, right? Yeah, just add impulsive and corrective wave as whatever you like. Oh, impulsive and corrective wave. Yeah. Okay. So now, with an understanding of uh, bullish. Um, market structure, having a bullish market and a bearish market. Now let's quickly move on to uh, another topic. And this is going to be corrective and impulsive. So we have impulsive and then corrective wave. Now, what's an impulsive wave? Now, an impulsive wave is the main wave uh, in the direction of order flow. So let's say let's say markets here we are in a bullish market that is uh, market structure just as i explained uh, some few minutes ago a breaking market structure to the high uh, to the upside giving us a breaking market structure here making uh, this zone here this part, particular trend here uh, a bullish market oh uh, bro bro uh let me just take it again okay so you take this particular zone here off as well okay Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hello, guys. So now, with an understanding of market structure, as I have explained here, where in a bullish market, we are having a series of higher high, higher low, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. In a bearish market, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Now, let's quickly move to uh, impulsive and corrective wave. Now, in an uh, when we say impulsive wave, is the wave that's in the favor of the particular trend you are looking at. So in a bullish market, say price is giving us higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high, higher lows, right? A bullish market, just as I explained in the uh, market structure. Now, this particular wave here, this particular wave here, which is in the favor of the bulls, breaking market structure, breaking market structure to the upside here, it's called the impulsive wave. It's called the impulsive wave. And, and the wave, which is also uh, against the trend, is called the corrective wave. This is the corrective wave here. Now, one of the characteristics of uh, of an impulsive wave is whenever whenever price is trending to the upside, usually you're gonna have momentum in this movie. Here. You're gonna see the huge huge candles breaking structure. Usually, that is uh, the kind of uh, wave that's most likely uh, explains what this. Ah, what am I saying? God, <laughs> bro. Ah. Yeah. Let, let, me just, let me just take it again, okay? So take this side off as well. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm just not prepared, okay? So hold on. Corrective wave. What else can I say about impulsive wave? Um, there's momentum. It doesn't take long. And then, okay, so bro, before, before we go to impulsive wave, let me just go on chat to explain what market structure is. And then uh, uh, then we'll move on to what's, uh, what's the name? Uh, to this particular one, okay? Okay. okay. I mean, bro. What editor <laughs> do you use, bro? You are explaining it. Yeah. Pardon? Uh, literally, uh, whatever you like. What do I like? You watch for entertainment. Hello, bro. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you said something. I didn't hear you, bro. I didn't. I said you are doing literally very good, bro. Oh, Your audience sure. will like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Okay, so uh, let me let me quickly. Okay, so guys, this is gold, and this is the five minutes chat. Now, I want to show or explain to you what market structure is on the uh, charts on real charts. Okay, so we have this particular high here, and we have this low here now price hasn't taken any of them so as at this point price is like neutral but within this range here you can still see some little structures within this zone here right you have this low this high here this low high lower low a uh, higher low higher high higher low higher high price keeps breaking swing point high this low we wouldn't uh look at this low to be uh we wouldn't look at this low to be a swing point low because it failed to create a new higher high but this particular low here created a new higher high within this particular range here within this high to this low we had this here now we see price takes out this low here okay so at this point, it means within this range, we had uh, a breaking market structure here, right? We have a lower high. Now, so price hasn't taken any of uh, these lows here. So we wouldn't say this low here has broken this structure yet. And it also hasn't taken any of these highs. So we are still within this range, within this low, this high to this low here until now price takes this one here so we have another break in market structure within this little range here now looking here you see that now price finally takes this particular swing point high here takes this swing point high here of this particular range here you know this range structure here or this structure here was within this range here Okay, this structure here is within this range so we now uh, identify our lowest low of uh, the range structure here or the structure that's created here and this this is the lowest low here we have this year to be so now this is the confirmed swing point low this is the confirmed swing point low and not any of this or uh, or any of this you wouldn't even say this because this is the lowest within this range here now price gives us this higher high now so it means we are not expecting price to take this particular low if price takes out this low we have a breaking market structure to the downside okay so let's quickly have this here now price has now taken this high here so we have a break in market structure high here and this is the lowest point within this swing point low to the swing point highest range so this is the lowest low and we saw uh this little structures also within this zone here so we have this low here oh so this low here high lower low lower high now we have this lower low but this lower low now becomes a swing point low because it has also been able to take this swing point high here so now we have here as a breaking market structure to the upside so now we don't concentrate too much on this particular low again this is now our low we are concentrating if price should take this low it means we have a breaking market structure to the downside so this is breaking market structure to the upside now we see price takes this particular low off so we have a breaking market structure to the downside yeah we have a breaking market structure and this was our confirmed swing point high yeah after price took out this here. Now, 
So it means now price has changed from a bullish market to a bearish market, meaning that we are not expecting this high to be taken. If price should take this high, it means we are bullish again. The bulls have uh, regained momentum. So now this is our swing point high. We see this to be a low here, but we can't confirm it until price now takes it out as well. So we have price giving us this uh, high, low, high, 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 low, high, high, higher, low, high, high, a break here, a lower high, okay. lower, low, another lower high. Price comes up here, breaks all these, gives us a, a higher high. Now price takes it again, a lower low. Until now, price takes out this low that uh, gave us this push here. This was the last low here that gave us this push here. So now we'll also come again to identify what was the highest point. What was the highest point within this swing point high and swing point lose range? This is the highest high here. This is the highest high. So now we have a breaking market structure to the downside here meaning that we are in a bearish market so we are looking to sell and not buy now we have this low to this swing point high here this is the highest within this swing point high and swing point lows range okay. so we have lower low here we have this as a lower high now this low is also taking again taking out again so we are expecting price to give that push then we go in for another sell and whenever price is breaking this loose it means this is the impulsive way this is the impulsive and we have this going against the trend as the corrective way so this is the impulsive corrective okay so we have impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive breaking market structure so now this is impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive market and this is a bullish market uh, a bearish market a bullish market we had a breaking market structure here meaning that we have changed hands from a bullish market to a bearish market that's just what we are trying to explain so guys stay tuned for uh another edition okay subscribe and like the page okay let's keep the likes coming in the comments as well what you want to see more of uh this smart money concepts and stuff just uh say something down in the comment box okay yeah yo bro and very soon <laughs> and very soon i will post uh my very good friend channel it's fx uh his new channel so please don't forget to subscribe his channel whenever I post this channel in our group link. So thank you guys for watching. Bye, take care. Ah, 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 stop ah. now, stop it now, stop it now. <laughs>